Hello and welcome back to Bloxy. In this tutorial, we'll check out how to work with Bloxy's Content Blocks feature. Content blocks are pieces of content that can be reused and placed throughout the website using our hooks system. Also, with Content Blocks, you can customize your 404 page or you can build a super customized header or footer. In our case, we'll take a look at the basic Content Block implementation and we'll cover these other use cases in another video. Let's jump into the WordPress dashboard to see how Content Blocks work. You'll find the Content Blocks section under the Bloxy menu. In this demo, we'll use the Homey Starter site as an example. I have already prepared the content block containing a discount I might want to offer to the customers visiting my website. Please note, you can include anything you might think of inside a content block. Images, text, products, sliders, they all work with Bloxy's content blocks. After you have crafted the content you wish to appear on your website, let's jump into the front end to find out where we might want the content block to appear. Let's say I wish this content block to appear on every product page that the user might visit. I'll choose a product on my website and navigate to it. In the top WordPress toolbar, we see a handy option to show us all the available hooks throughout our website. Theme hooks are the ones you might want to use if you're planning on attaching the content block to a normal page or blog post. In our case, we will check out the WooCommerce hooks since we want to attach this to the product page. I'll click on the Show WooCommerce Hooks option and voila, all the hooks available are displayed on the page. In our case, I would like to attach the content block after the short product description, but before the product info tabs. From here, I have two options. I can either copy the hook's name or I can search for it inside the Bloxy Content Blocks editor. Also. As a side note, if you haven't created your content block just yet, you can press the little pencil icon and it will automatically create a blank content block for you with that location already attached. In this case, because we have already created the content block, we'll search for the location inside the content block editor. I'll go back to my content block window and in the right sidebar, I'll select Bloxy settings. I'm presented with the option to choose the location of the content block. In our case, I'll select before single product tabs and on the right of the location selector, you'll find the priority option. This option is useful in case you have multiple content blocks attached to the same location. It will allow you to easily set the order in which you want them to appear. The rule is short and sweet here. The order of the content blocks goes like counting numbers. One is first, two is second and so on. We're not done just yet. We'll need to set the display conditions now. Since the hook is only available on the product pages and I want my content block to appear on all of them, I can easily select entire website here. But you may have more options that you might want to check out. You can even exclude a specific product or page here. Next up are user conditions. Here, I can choose when to display the content block. You can choose to display it for certain user roles, such as blog subscribers or shop customers, or based on the user, if they are logged in or not. I'm interested to display the content block to all of my customers, so I'll delete this rule for now. You can also set an expiration date, good in cases such as limited time offers. Last but not least, you can choose on which devices you may want the content block to appear, desktop, tablets, or mobile phones. Once I'm happy with the changes, I'll click the update or publish button up top. Now let's go back to the front end to see the content block in action. There we go. Our content block is now displayed and all product pages and users can take advantage of our offer. But wait, there's one more little thing. A lot of our users have asked us to make the content blocks placements more dynamic. That's why we've introduced an option that lets you insert your content block dynamically based on the number of building blocks that you might already have on a post. This is useful if you wish to remind your readers about something important. For example, a course you might want to offer. You can choose between two simple options here after a certain number of blocks or 
before a certain number of headings. I have prepared another content block showcasing this feature and this is how it might look on your blog posts. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.